Greetings to everyone who's listening to me right about now. I don't take these meetings and these words for granted. I know that these words are very powerful words. These are words that you need to listen to every single day, especially if people have prescribed a disease or a condition towards you. Some of you, the doctors prescribed you as mentally ill. You have a mental illness. You have a mental sickness. But I want to encourage you that the word of God will break that chain. It will break that mental illness. God's word will heal you. Scripture says it this way. That he sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their affliction. My brothers and sisters, God's word is so powerful. More powerful, more sharper than a double-edged sword. So can you believe in the word of God? And remember, for those that think have a mental illness, confess the word every day. Confess it that you have the mind of Christ. That's what the scripture says. You have the mind of Christ. Now, if you have the mind of Christ, you can't be mentally ill. When you see something that does not align to the word of God, confess the word. Speak the word, not your words. Speak the word. Bible says it clear that by his stripes we were healed. By his stripes we were healed. Not we are going to be healed. Not we shall be healed. Not we are waiting to pay healing. We were healed. When Jesus was on that cross on Calvary, he said, it is finished. So whatever you are going through, my brothers and sisters, it is finished. Today's word is, there is something about you. Something about you that does not make sense. Something unique about you that has made your enemies to hate you. Some of them hate you without a cause. Some of you, some of you, if God started revealing who you are, you wouldn't believe it. You would say, me? This is what I am? Some of you have believed a lie. Your condition has been speaking to you. Your situation has spoken to you for a very long time. Do you know that your condition can speak to you? Do you know that your problem can speak to you? The pain communicates a message towards you that you are not good enough. That you are meant to be down. You are meant to suffer. But when Jesus shows you who you are, when God reveals you to you or himself to you, you'll be amazed. Some of you have believed things that are not right. That's why you see in life, you have to learn, unlearn, and relearn. Some of you are at the process of learning. God is taking you at the process of learning. And some of you are at the process of unlearning. Unlearning uh, doctrines that were not right. Unlearning ideas that were not learned right. Unlearning opinions that were not right. Some of you are at the point of relearning. Whatever point you are, God has a reason as to why he has placed you in that point. Remember that God that is, is not the the cause of your problem. No, 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 no. I love the scripture that says, if anyone fiercely attacks you, note that it's not from me. So whoever is fier fiercely attacking you, <laughs> it is not from God. Look at the situation of Job. That it was his enemy, the enemy, the devil, that attacked Job. The enemy came in and wanted to cause problems in Job. In fact, the enemy even made notice that Job had a hedge of protection around him. Do you know that God had pro was protecting Job? Do you know that? That Job had a hedge of protection around you? Some of you would have died a long time. But because of his mercies, because of the hedge of protection around you, the enemy cannot touch you because you are anointed. Touch not my anointed ones and do no harm to my prophets. Some of you are very anointed and the enemy knows it. 
He knows it clearly. There is something about your situation that does not make sense. That witchcraft, there's something about you. That problem where you, 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 you missed your opportunity, it could be a spiritual warfare. It could be witchcraft. So what do I encourage you to do? Is to pray. Keep on praying. Push. Push. In other words, pray until something happens. Push, pray until something happens. If it's not happening, don't stop to pray. Even when things are happening, never stop praying. Because the Bible says that men ought to pray and not faith. Pray without ceasing. I love the story of Hannah. For those that have read the story of Hannah, that uh, she was barren, but she kept on praying. She never gave up on prayer. She kept on praying and praying and praying until she received a breakthrough. To, she prayed to an extent that the priest thought that she was drunk. Have you prayed to an extent where people think that you're drunk? She was praying actually in the spirit. And God gave her a breakthrough. God gave her a son, a prophet of all nations, a prophet of nations actually, the nation of Israel. That the Bible says that for Samuel, none of his words fell to the ground. None of his words fell to the ground. This prophet anointed kings. What a blessing. So my brothers and sisters, there was something unique about you. You are God's masterpiece. I just repeated it a little bit for someone who has missed it out. You are God's masterpiece. You are the salt of this world. You are the light of this world. You are an ambassador of Christ Jesus. You are an ambassador of the most high God. There's something unique about you. You are not ordinary. No, 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 no. I see on TV people call Superman, Superwoman. No, you are more than Superman. You are more than Superwoman. You are far beyond that. My brothers and sisters, I hope this word has blessed you. I hope it has encouraged you. Until next time, Shalom.